Greetings, it's Michael Davis from Speaking CPR. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are in the world. Uh, I want to share an experience I had today. Today was a, it, it was an enjoyable, but it was a bittersweet day. In my hometown of Cincinnati, Ohio, our local baseball team, the Reds, played their last game of the season. More importantly, this was the last game ever for the Reds' primary broadcaster, Marty Brenneman. Marty has been with the Reds for 46 years. That's the main reason it was bittersweet, because Marty's been an important part of my life since I was 10 years old. When I was 10 and in my teen years, I'd listen to baseball games with my dad. In my early 20s, uh, when I was going through that time of life when I didn't know what to do, I knew I could always flip on a baseball game and escape to feel better. Uh, when I was a young father in my early 30s, I sh eventually shared that with my son. Marty Brenneman has been a part of my life, and that ended today. It was a closed chapter. Uh, and a lot of people in the state, even including myself, we shed some tears. And part of it was we realized that, you know, a connection to our past has now been closed, and that's never easy. The more important reason I'm sharing this with you, though, is that Marty Brenneman is authentic as it gets. We talk a lot in speaking about being authentic, and sometimes people aren't sure what that means. The way I view authenticity is you're speaking your truth, what you believe to be the truth. And that's why Marty is beloved in this town. He literally is an icon. Uh, there were times when he would give feedback about players, uh, plays on the field that uh, did, the players didn't like. Uh, management didn't sometimes like what he said, nor the managers. But here's what we loved about Marty amongst many things. Those people could confront him about it and he would not back down. He would be respectful in his critique, but his job was to tell what he saw on the field. And if he didn't think somebody was putting out the right effort, if they just weren't doing their best, he called them on it. And most of the players who confronted him or even the managers eventually appreciated him because he was being honest. And that's why the fans love Marty Brenneman. And again, that's something that we lost today uh, when he retired because you don't see that as much in today's world. If you're a sports fan, even political commentary, you get a lot of fluff. Uh, so what does it mean to be authentic? It means be true to yourself. Speak what you believe to be the truth is. Do it respectfully, which is a welcome change from today's discourse uh, from a lot of people or between a lot of people. But more importantly, know that if you do that, Sometimes people are not going to agree with you. They may not like you. As I've taught my clients over the years, if you are respectful, if you believe in, in a subject or a topic and you're, you're presenting it to the best of your ability and they don't like it, that's their problem. Be authentic when you give a presentation, whether it's in a 30-second networking event, if it's an hour-long keynote, or if it's a full-day event. Be true to your message and know that some people aren't going to like it. That's their issue. But you will feel better and the majority of your audience will definitely love you for it because then they'll know that they're speaking or they're hearing someone who is speaking the truth and it can make their lives better. Leave your comments below. What are your experiences with authentic or inauthentic people? would love to hear about it. Create some uh, commentary and dialogue and we will talk with you tomorrow.